It's got brown in it. I didn't want it to have. It's got yellow in it. I didn't want it to have yellow. It doesn't have enough yellow, etc. I can't even. Welcome to Silver Linings, your resource for silver, gray, white wig reviews, and more. You've watched a whole bunch of wig review videos. You're all excited. You open up your brand new wig box and the color is still a disappointment to you. I'm hoping to help you with that today and add to your knowledge base about color straight ahead right here right now on silver linings okay so I want to start out with just showing you this color ring I'm going to use Jean Renault's color ring as an example you saw that in my thumbnail in the gray color family you've also got colors from the platinum family and some of those colors can present as goldish or maybe a tint of yellow. So if you are the kind of person that wants true silver, gray, white, then you want, you're going to want to stay away from this end of the color spectrum. If you're a sandy gray, then naturally you're going to want to have uh, some colors that are like this on the color spectrum. Now, oh, and you might also want to have some colors that are down on the other end of the spectrum. But if you want that silvery, white, gray, then you're going to be right around in here. Now, uh, keep in mind that every brand has their own color ring and every brand can have their own formulas. So one of the thing that's one of the things that I absolutely did not know when I first started to, to wear wigs or even look at wigs, was that they can make up and blend their own colors to their heart's content. And that's what gives us so many beautiful colors that keep coming onto the marketplace. Okay, so just again, remember, in the gray family, you have grays and you have platinums. And I'm going to show you a document that I made that I will make available for you uh, if you want it for free. Um, just send me an email. The link will be below. Okay, so gray and platinum. Now, of course, there's other colors, but I'm not going to get into those today because they're not, they don't really apply to the silver gray family, but there's a whole nother ring, color ring for blondes. There's a whole nother color ring for shaded and syrupy colors, you know, these these fashion colors that that we're that we're seeing here, there, and everywhere. So, and then there's blacks, the browns. But again, we are going to focus on gray and platinum. Now I also ordered way, way back in the beginning of my wig journey, Paula Young, I can't remember if I paid for this or not, but Paula Young, you can get this. I think it's free on her website when you buy a wig, but don't quote me on that. But this is really great because it shows you the, one second, I've got a timer going off. This is really great because it shows you, you see the gradation in the colors from light to dark, from dark to light, browns, platinums, the whole thing. There's not a ton of them, but it just gives you, I think, a really great visual on, it, it just gives you a really great visual on what's available in the silver gray white color palette. But for the most part, grays and platinums are making up the gray hair, are making up the gray wig color family. Okay, so I found this wonderful site, cornerofhopeandmain.com, and you can see it right there. I'm highlighting the URL for you if you look at my cursor in the upper left. It's moving here. And uh, so I had asked myself, what colors make up silver gray white wigs? Or just what colors make up a gray wig? And here it is right here, gray, 34 to 60. And I'm thinking, well, that's not so hard. Stay tuned. And I'm going to show you more about that in a moment. Okay, so that is where I started. Now, I'm going to show you where I ended up. Okay, so let me share my screen with you once again. Now, so we have all the grays and the platinums, which make up the gray wig color family, right? But wait! 
<laughs> as we scroll down. It says 34 to 60, right? So here's all the colors, 34, 36, 38, 39, 44, 48, 51, etc., etc., etc. Now the blondes, we're going to leave them alone for now, okay? but we definitely are seeing the platinums, okay? And there's the color family of the platinums. 101, 102, 104, 613. Now, here's where it gets very, very interesting. <sighs> Numbers and letters. The combination of a number and a letter help decode the true color. So we, we have more to be concerned about than the, than the number. We also have to be concerned about what letter goes with that number. Is it shaded? Is it rooted? Is it a fashion color? Those are all the things that I'm talking about. So here's the grays broken down, and they tell you what they are. Dark brown with gray. They How, how much of a percentage of that color did they mix in? Are you starting to get it? Okay. So then we have the letter codes. Here they all are. Again, I'll send this, this uh, PDF to you if you want it, and this will help you decode things. And then here's the industry standard wig color codes. Industry standard wig color codes. I used to think that that meant that all the brands used all the same colors, let's say, but that's not true. They can make up all their own they could take those colors and mix them any way they, they want with certain percentages, less percentages, adding other colors into them. And that's why it's so hard for you to get, when you're looking at that wig, you're like, what? What? I can't even. It's got brown in it. I didn't want it to have, it's got yellow in it. I didn't want it to have yellow. It doesn't have enough yellow, etc. I can't even. Grays. Here's all the grays, 34 to 60, and they're all broken down even further. So you see here gray 34, dark brown with 5% pure white. I wish that all of the brands would tell us how much of a percentage is of white, how much of a percentage of gray, how much a percentage of black, how much a percentage of brown, how much a percentage of yellow, etc. So that part is is not really standardized per se. Um, and by the way, I've got this information here from Joshua24.com. That that is uh, Joshua24.com. They sell wigs. So this was very interesting to me here to see this combination of letters and numbers and percentages. And so again. Here's the platinum shades, and it breaks down what colors are used. And then, of course, we go right down, and, and we're not really concerned for this tutorial with the black and the browns and the reds. So, But I just put them there just to show you in case you were interested. Now, Jean Renault has a very interesting chart, and this really helped me to understand um, that and if you look at these one two three there's five different ways that they break down these colors the first thing is when you see a color that says that has an H in it well that's a combination of two colors the H means a highlight kind of like when you when you'd go to the hairdresser and they'd give you highlights and they'd mix two colors together well that's what this is so that highlight color St generally the ind industry standard is that color is 20%. Okay, so they're adding 20%, let's say this white, they're adding 20% of maybe gray with the white, and that's going to give us a, a different color. Okay, so then they take it a step further, and they have this uh, RH which means that it's 
33%, not 20%. So they're adding more. They're adding 13% more highlight. So that wig is going to take on even more depth and more dimension. Then they have uh, different things called, this one is Fashion Syrup Bold Highlights. And you can go down and you can read what they've done. But every time they do something with shading or rooting or everything is going to take on a whole different mix. Again, just like if you went to the hairdresser and they started adding in different highlights or different lowlights. Now, number four here, but Aesthetica, for instance, um, what they do, <laughs> just when you think you're understanding everything, they reverse the formula. So Aesthetica reverses their color codes and lists the base color second instead of first. So that can make the wig look entirely different. And I just reviewed True in Iced Gray. And when you look at True in Iced Gray compared to the uh, wig review that I did yesterday, which was of Salsa by Raquel Welch in Silver Mist, which is R5660, those two colors even though their makeup isn't that different, the iced gray looked deeper in gray than the um, looked deeper in gray than the salsa. And I will one had a deeper gray or more steely gray than the other. The salsa, uh, the uh, iced gray had a more steely gray than the salsa. The salsa had a more silver or white gray. Here. Just as a comparison, is Aesthetica's True, and I reviewed True, I believe it was last week. So look, this is iced gray. So here are two beautiful grays, if you love that silver gray. If you haven't seen that video yet or the review of True, I will link this since I'm mentioning it with since I'm mentioning it to you I'll link it below. Okay. And then you have number 5, you've got Fashion Syrup Colors. And this is right here. This graphic right here where my cursor is moving. And their shades they have shades at the root. And so that's going to give it a different dimension and I actually like those kinds of uh, wigs because it gives you dimension and if I wanted to reach a little bit into the blonde family uh, just for some more choices because of that dark root I can sometimes get away with that with that wig or with that color and then finally uh, Jean Renault has what they call the tipped family and that they, they just have tips a, a tip color at the end of the root so, it, you know, it's blended with another color. So, as it says here, once you start to get an idea of what these colors are, as it shows here, once you start to get an idea of what's going on, that just because it says gray and white, you have really no idea how much of gray, how much of white, unless they tell you the percentages. And sometimes they tell you the percentages, and sometimes they don't. So I hope that this helps you even just a little bit. All your, you know, when I used to sell real estate, I used to tell my clients the first time we would meet, pretend that we have a basket. The basket is empty. The first time we go out to see a home, you're going to start the first home. You're going to put that in the basket. That's your basket of knowledge. The second home is your second piece of knowledge. Your third is your fourth piece of piece of knowledge. And on and on and on we'd go until that basket started to get filled up with knowledge and then they could make an intelligent decision. Well, you know what? Wig buying is really, I'm finding, is very much the same. In order for you to love your wig, in order for you to kind of know when the next time you order something, I'm going to like that wig. All I have to be concerned about is the style because you're going to have a foundation or a basket of experiences 
of color understanding. And I mean, I remember, you know, gathering the information for this PDF here. It took me hours to gather all this together. And I really want to thank the uh, Color of Hope in Maine and Jean Renault. I want to give credit where credit is due for all these resources that I have here. And I will link them below. Um, I think Mimi, yeah, Mimi, uh, MimoWigUSA.com. She had a wonderful explanation for uh, what the letters mean. I just kind of went here and there and gathered information for you. Actually, for myself first, and as I always say, I share what I learn with you. So let me know in the comments below, please, if this helped you even just a little bit. Don't just listen to it once. Go back and listen to it two or three times. Read the PDF. Take your time. Pour yourself a glass of, of wine, a cup of coffee, tea, whatever, and take your time and just start to slow down and learn about color. And I'll be adding to, to my own basket of experiences as I go. But I have so many wigs here that are in the silver gray white family. I'm look at them, I'm looking at them all up on my on my shelf. And when I tell you one is so much different even than the other, even within the same company. But the, I would say that the last 10 wigs that I purchased, I didn't make any color. I didn't make any color mistakes. I liked all the colors. I might not have been in love with the style, but I liked all the colors. And I think eventually as I go, and maybe as you go, if, if you're getting a collection, you kind of get to know what styles you like the best. So, and in case you're wondering what I'm wearing today, I have the Tony Bratton headband fall and she is in the color light gray, which is a combination of 5660 R 5660. And she's got it looks to me like she's got half and half, like half half um gray and half white because 60 is white so there's color number 56 right there and there's color number 60 which is the white so i hold them up and there's the combination and i'm actually going to be you can see she's quite a bit longer than my own hair um because i'm growing out my hair so i i don't want to i don't want to cut I don't want to cut the fall. Um, but I'm going to be doing an experiment with this fall. I'm going to give her a wash. She's rather new. I've only worn her a handful of times, but she's she's doing something funny about how she's laying. So I think she might have box hair. So I'm going to wash her and I'm going to do a tutorial on washing your wig. One is going to be using fabric softener, and another one is going to be using a product by um, Godiva Secret Wigs. So I'm going to just see how much of a difference there is between using an expensive shampoo and conditioner made for wigs or just using fabric softener. And that's coming up next Saturday school in two weeks. So that's basically all I have for today. I hope that it helped you. And as always, everyone, look for the silver lining. Bye-bye.